Mike here from MBG Adventures. And it's a beautiful day today. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Blue skies. It started off a little bit chilly, but uh, getting a little milder today. So, so anyway, uh, yeah, we got another video here uh, with the van. I know it's been a little while, but it's been pretty cold here. So, been waiting for uh, nicer weather to start doing a little more on the van. And uh, yeah. So anyway, we have a uh, special guest here. Well, you guys kind of figure anyway that he'll be here because uh, he just ends up showing up everywhere I am. <laughs> There's well, Justin. Guys. Want to say anything, Justin? No. Justin's not uh, not too talkative right now. He's just uh, loading up the, the uh, flux core uh, welder right there. So that's what we're going to be using. So yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got the, uh, the ramp in the background here. Uh, we gotta get this, uh, this ramp done. What do you think, Justin? Yeah. Yeah, it might not be painted. Season's it's almost here. Can you say that again? Season's almost here. There he is, yeah. No, the season is fast approaching. I know the camera's kind of shaky here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're just gonna kind of grind off some of the edges here on, on the ramp. There's some sharp edges, whatever. Might top up the welds. Uh, and then we're gonna start working on mounting it. We're gonna be putting a, a plate along there, on the back there, and uh, put some hinges on, and we're gonna go from there. So we got a good idea how we're gonna hinge it on. And once it's hinged on, put the ramp up, and we're gonna go from there. The mounting points for latches, uh, we got a lift assist. I don't know if we're going to go that far in this video, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah. How's the uh, the loading of the... It's coming. What, what, do you call, there we go. what do you call that stuff again? That, that, you, that you loaded in there? Flux core wire. Oh, wire. Yeah. That's how green I am with uh, <laughs> with welding. So yeah, we, he just uh, loaded up the, uh, the wire into the machine. Okay, so I'm just going to have some clips here and there. Uh, I don't want to make a super long video about this, but uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy. Good job, Justin. <laughs> So Justin just did a, a few more, I guess he called it what, tack welding? Yeah. Or spot welding. And then uh, ground all this down to make sure it wasn't sharp to catch yeah. anything, like a wheel. Grind down the edges, the other side too. I think this is the bottom. So I think what we might do too later, it's not important, I think the wheels will go over this anyway. Is this is one inch or an inch and a half? Inch and a half. Yeah, it's an inch and a half. Uh, maybe put some angle iron on here or something. So like once it is down, and I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. 36 will go over like nothing. So. Oh yeah, oh for sure. So Mostly just push mowers and aerators and stuff like that, but it can be hard to get it up and down. It's gonna take two of us to do it, but we'll figure it out. Absolutely. Okay, so I guess, uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do here. We're gonna put a plate across there and uh, put some hinges on. Yeah. Let's do this, Justin. Whole plate, yeah. I'll just screw it down like where it's written. Like. Yes, put a little rip here. I don't think. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah, so just put like two here, maybe two in the middle, and then two at the end type thing. And then we'll put nice long hinges. Yeah, let's measure in four inches and then. Put the hinges, one hinge here and one hinge on the bottom of the rail. Alright. We gotta go four and a half instead. And have another four and a half piece. So then there's a little bit more, more of a space for the, these pins to come out. If you ever had to take it off. What is it, measure once, cut twice? <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got. Oh, we'll try a trial and error here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Yes. 
Yeah, I might just leave it like that for a gap, just so it's not binding. Another hinge. Yeah. Might cut that one. It may cut cut another piece because that one seems a little short. Yeah. Hey Justin, is that better? I think so. Okay. And this is a little gap. Yep. Beauty. So we have a change of plans here, right, yeah. Justin? Yeah. So we, we kind of brainstormed and we went out for lunch and we had to really think about this really hard. But, uh, well, not really well, that hard. Kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make an adjustment here. So the good thing we, uh, Justin, just tacked these on. We're going to move these, what, what would you call these? The hinges, right? Yeah, the hinge piece. Our, our MacGyvered hinges to the, the bottom part of the ramp here. So, reason being, and we're going to go with wood for now, which is fine. I got pressure treated wood. Uh, eventually, you know, I'll put metal there. I just want to make sure this is all going to work. I don't want to be welding the metal onto the truck and this and that, and then it's not going to work. But um, the reason why we got to put that hinge on the bottom of the uh, the ramp over there is just to get the uh, the proper height here with the angle coming down, so the ramp's not hitting, you know, the van this or, or this, because it was hitting here with just this plate sitting down. Yes. Which we didn't take into consideration. Yeah, that's right. So, so originally this plate was going to be flush on the white part here, but now we got the, I guess, one and a half inch. I got a two by eight. That cost a million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> well, it used to cost a million dollars like two years ago, but now it costs like 500000 So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go with this. So this is a, a visual right now that you can see. Uh, and we got these hinges here. So these are the pins. Obviously, that's going to go through, you know, the you know, ramp part, you know, and connect it to all this. And then we're using self-tapping screws to go right into the van here for now. So, so okay, I guess we got to grind these off and uh, and move them. All right, so here we are. We're back on the uh, the ramp build job here. So it is. Uh, I think it's a week later. About <laughs> we had to stop. Come up with a new plan. We got some angle iron right here, and uh, yeah, just coming up with a, a new plan to mount this thing to the back of the van. So stay tuned. So just measuring up the angle iron here. What are we? Just a hair under 50 inches? Yeah. Or something like that? Something like that. So we got two lines there. Justin's not sure which one to cut. Okay, now he knows which one to cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trim this up and uh, see if this is going to work. Yeah, trial and error. <laughs> right? All the great things that have been invented and built. Well, this is what you go through, right? Multiple days, weeks, months, years of yep. uh, brainstorming and planning and putting stuff together. And once you have it together, boom. 
Yeah. Now, now you can patent it, right? That's right. All right, let's do this. We actually professionally measure it, so it's even. Okay, so it looks more on this side, right? Well, because uh, I think the plate's hurt. Oh, okay. Maybe go in a bit. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so we'll have each end of an inch. There, so you see the space that's going to be in between. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Because you want a bit of a gap here. Yeah. Do you want to measure that one right now since I'm holding it? You know what I mean with the thing? Well. Oh. Just put maybe two here, two here, and two. so we're we gonna put this right on the edge because that will work too. The door will still close. Yeah. percent clears. Yeah. You don't need to trim this. I don't think you need to. And then Okay, so pretty much uh, we're going to end this video here. Well, soon anyway. So what we're going to do now, everything, all the welding is done. Justin did a phenomenal job. Thank you, buddy.
No problem. So it looks like all the welding is done, everything, this and that. So I got to clean it up and uh, get it ready for uh, prime and paint. And uh, the next time uh, you see Justin, we'll be uh, hopefully mounting this. Or I might get really eager and mount it beforehand. I might cheat and do it and then take it apart and say, no, I didn't do it. And I'll wait until <laughs> Justin comes over. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah so I hope you enjoyed the, the video, uh, this segment of uh, the van series. So we're getting somewhere anyway, you know, with this guy behind me here. Now, as you see in the video, we got, you know, our hinges already on there and, and everything. We put some angle iron on. We've been brainstorming like crazy with this thing. Uh, it, it's not as easy as you think, you know, fabricating a, a ramp that's folding into a van, which you can close the back doors on. And I know there's a few people that ask me, like, how are you going to do it? You know, like, you know, and they're, they're curious and this and that, but, uh, it, it, it's not as easy as you think. It's not like having an open trailer with one of these uh, um, ramps. You know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It goes up, goes down, whatever. But uh, it's a, little, a lot different with this van, <laughs> as you can see. And yeah, it's taken some time, but you know what? Rome wasn't built in one day. So, uh, you know, anything that's been fabricated out there and uh, patent, whatever, it, it takes a long time to uh, get it right. Right, and we'll, we want to do it right rather than wrong, and uh, working backwards again. So, so anyway, uh, that that's going to end this uh, video, and we're going to continue on. So now this ramp is ready for me. It's freaking cold it right now, and it's cold here in the garage. I'm waiting for uh, milder weather, which will be in a few days anyway. And uh, I'm going to uh, clean it up, prime it, and paint it. And uh, Next videos to come, you'll uh, you'll see us continuing with this ramp. Okay. With that being said, be nice, everyone. Do something nice for someone today, and peace. We'll see you soon.